2D detailed drawings are graphical representations of CAD models on a drawing sheet. CAD drawings are primarily used to convey design information to manufacturers and those involved in the assembly of a project. Drawings contain details necessary to fully communicate the design, including tolerance requirements, size and fit specifications, machining or welding notes, and assembly instructions. In Onshape, drawings are created within a drawing tab in a document. To create a drawing, select a plus sign and choose Create Drawing. Next, select a drawing template to get started. Onshape provides basic ANSI and ISO drawing templates. These are standard drafting templates put forth by the respective standardization organization. You can choose one of the provided templates or customize the template with the custom template option. You can create custom templates by modifying the provided drawing templates or uploading a company template. These can be shared amongst the company or enterprise so all users have access to them. Most companies standardize their drawing templates to make it easy to convey the needed information to the shop or manufacturer. One method to customize a standard template is to click the custom template option. In this dialog, modify the appropriate settings. The angle projection can be modified under the projection section, which defines how the drawing views are laid out. First and third angle projection describes two different standard layouts for the views in the drawing. The perspectives are named based off the quadrant in which the model resides. Third angle projection can be thought of as rolling the model, where the right side view is to the right of the front view on the sheet, the top is above, the left is to the left of the front view, and the bottom is below the front view. First angle projection is the projection resulting from unfolding the model, where the right side view is to the left of the front view, the top view is below, the left view is to the right of the front view, and the bottom is above the front view on the sheet. Selecting a template also defines the sheet size. Sheet sizes in the ANSI standard are labeled as A, B, C, D, etc. An A size sheet is a normal paper size 8.5 by 11 inches, and the sheet size is almost double as you go up, or a B size sheet is 11 by 17 inches. When using the ISO standard, the sheet sizes are labeled A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. And A4 is equivalent to a normal sheet of paper and is 8.3 by 11.7 inches. A3 gets larger at 11.7 by 16.5 inches, and so on. You can learn more about custom template creation in the help documentation and by reading the technical briefing, Best Practices for Creating Onshape Drawing Templates. Once you pick a template, click OK. Onshape prompts you to insert a view of a model from the document. Inserting views is discussed in a future video. In the Drawing tab, a sheet is usually defined with the sheet size, border, and title block. The title block is a table typically located on a bottom right corner of the sheet. The title block contains important information about the drawing that is relevant to manufacturers and the organization in which it was created, such as scale, company logos, tolerance requirements, dates when the drawing was created or approved, and details about the project the drawing is for. Onshape automatically adds the sheet scale, angle of projection, who it was drawn by and when, and who approved it, retrieved from the properties specified in part properties or assembly properties. Usually this information is automatically added parametrically from the reference part or assembly detailed on the drawing sheet. Typically title blocks are standardized for a company, and CAD designers just need to be sure the relevant information is correct. In summary, detailed drawings are 2D representations of a part or assembly with the needed information to manufacture the design. There are different standards to employ, which are usually defined in a drawing template, which is made available to all CAD designers in a company or enterprise. In the next video, more about the drawing interface is explained.